Hey Duelists, it's Dark Blaze here and welcome to another deck profile, but more importantly, welcome to the first episode of Bonanza Week! Welcome to the first episode of Bonanza Week. Now, I know that in my previous video that I uploaded today, I know that I said I was not going to do any videos this weekend in preparation, but you know what? My Monarch deck profile was already late when I did it today. Yesterday, when I did my Pokemon Let's Play, that was late. That was supposed to be on Tuesday. So you know what? Might as well just start Bonanza Week now. And Bonanza Week, I have found out the end date. Bonanza Week will end on uh, the 15th of this month. So it will go a little bit over a week. And in that week, you guys are going to get a ton of great videos. So, what are we doing today for our deck profile? Well, we're going to talk about this guy right here. Debuting in the GX era, we have the Ojama deck, the Ojama archetype, starting out with three little monsters of normal type. We have the vanilla monsters of Ojama Green, Ojama Black, and Ojama Yellow. And these three are pretty powerful in GX, but in today's scene, they're not so much, but we're going to prove that wrong today. Later on, they did get Ojama Red and Ojama Blue, which are really good, especially Ojama Blue being a staple. And let's just see how good this deck can get. Let's just see. So, let's get ready to Chaz it up, Chaz it up, Chaz it up. It's time to do. Okay guys, so in starting off the Ojama deck profile, Oh, uh, this is so awesome. I get excited every time I see this. This is just crazy. But anyway, in starting off, we have the original three Ojamas. Two Ojama Green, two Ojama Yellow, and two Ojama Black, each with zero attack and a thousand defense. Now, these are just awesome. These are the OG Ojamas. And their new support is Ojama Red, which we have two of, and three Ojama Blue. Now, we also have Two of newer monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, we have Beatron with 200 attack, 2000 defense of level 2 normal, and the level 2 tuner, Galaxy Serpent, which is in the Link starter deck. Uh, so Ojama Red has the ability to, when it's normal summon, you can special summon up to four Ojama monsters from your hand in attack position. So that is a great way to get them to the field and start doing some combos. Uh, zero attack and a thousand defense just like the others and same with Ojama Blue. Ojama Blue has the ability to when it is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can add two Ojama cards from your deck to your hand. Now this is any Ojama card in your deck and it also includes Oja Muscle. <clears throat> and I think uh, this is because Oja Muscle in Japanese actually has Ojama in its title uh, so I think that's the reason. But yeah so we have all of these and these are really good, and you're going to see their true power when we get later into this deck. So, for the rest of the effect monsters, we have the new Cyverse Gadget. So, this is level 4, 1400 attack, 300 defense, light attribute. When it's normal summoned, target a level 2 or lower monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but with its effects negated. And if it goes from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a gadget token to your field, which has 0 attack, 0 defense, level 2 light, Cyverse type. Uh, Cyber's Gadget is just incredible because it brings back all of these level 2 monsters from the graveyard. Now if you bring back blue or red, okay, they have their effects negated. But if you bring back any of these, it does not matter because they have no effects. They are vanilla. So it doesn't matter. But Cyber's Gadget has some attack points too. It's level 4 and it brings back these guys. So that's great. Then we have two Draco Net which is when it's normal summoned, you special summon a level 2 or lower normal monster from your hand or deck in defense position. So there we go. You can go right ahead and search out your tuner of Galaxy Serpent. You can bring out Beatron and be like Yusaku with some nice defense, or you can obviously get out your Ojamas right away. Get out your Ojamas. Then we have King of the Swamp for your fusion summon or add polymerization from your deck to your hand. Then we have Super Nimble Mega Hamster, so when you flip summon it, you get a beast type monster of level 3 or lower out of your deck in face up defense mode. Which, again, you get right to the Ojamas, right to the Ojamas, right there. Then we have Jung Synchron. Um, by the way, I just want to mention, normally when I do a deck profile, if you guys haven't noticed, I try to stay true, true, as true as I can to the archetype, which means I don't mix archetypes together. I did it with Necroz, I did it with Destiny Heroes, and I did it with Monarchs. I stay true to the deck. 
as best I could. But seeing as how Ojamas are not the strongest deck, you need to make the archetypes. You need to mix them. Mix them good. So this is the case with using Yusaku's monsters, using a fusion card, and having Yusei's monsters. So when it's normal summoned, obviously bring out a level to a lower monster from your graveyard, but it has its effects negated. That does not matter. So you have instant access to do rank 2 XZs, or rank 4 if you overlay the two Cybers gadgets. And you can do Synchro Summoning because you have two tuners, level 2, level 3. You go for Junk Warrior. Then for a little bit of attack power, we have Pyro Pyrotech Mech Shiryu. So you can Tribute Summon this card with one Tribute. And with all the special summoning you're doing, you can bring this out. However, during, the, uh, during each end phase, you take 1000 damage. However, it does do Piercing Battle damage, <clears throat> which is really good. So I mean, this may be a card you'd rather put in your side deck, but it's good for attack power because you may not always, you know, have, you know, the upper hand and have monsters on your field. Then we also have Majestic Megoryu, which again, you can do one tribute, but you can't set it. Uh, during the end phase, send it to the graveyard if you summon it that way. Also, it does piercing battle damage, so really good. Then we have Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, when a face-up beast type gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard, pay a thousand life points, bring it out from the graveyard. You instantly have access to a level 7, 2600 attack point monster. And we have two of them. And then we have Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Man, I'm mixing so many archetypes. Anyway, banish a dark and light monster from your graveyard, bust this card out. So, I mean, we have plenty of those. We have Draconet, we have Cyrus Gadget, we have um, Draconet, Junk Synchron, the Majestic Mech, uh, let me see, yeah, so I mean, plenty of dark, plenty of light monsters, even these two Ojamas right here are light type, and even these, light type. So, there's plenty of light type, plenty of dark types, and then for the spells, we have two Ojama Delta Hurricane, and I love the fact that it's got two exclamation points at the end. That is totally something I would do. But with this card, if you have green, yellow, and black Ojama on your field, destroy all cards on your opponent's side of the field. That is amazing. Then we have Oja Magic. Um, when this card is sent to the from the hand or the field to the graveyard, add each of Ojama green, yellow, and black from your deck to your hand. So great searcher right here, which is you want to combo this with MST. Set it down, MST, bang. Then we have Oja Muscle. You so target Ojama King. Destroy all Ojama monsters on your field, and it gains a thousand attack for each monster destroyed this way. So, if you have four Ojamas on the field, or even just three or two, you can have anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 attack, anywhere from 1,000 to 4,000, really. And then their field spell, which is a staple. We have Ojama Country. So, this is really cool. I love the artwork. It's so silly and it's so funny. But once per turn, you can send an Ojama card from your hand to the graveyard, which combo this with Oja Magic. Uh, you, then you special summon one Ojama monster from your graveyard. So instantly you, you can revive your king, you can revive Ojama knight, or you can just revive any of the Ojamas here. Especially, uh, you know, blue. Uh, anyway, Ojama Country also has the ability to, if you have a face-up Ojama monster on the field, switch the original attack and defense of all monsters on the field. Um, Ojama can include Oja Muscle as well. So this card is really good, and it's basically this card has a built-in shield and sword. Now you could run shield and sword by itself too, in case this gets destroyed, but I mean, you really don't need to. Then we have polymerization, because you have to fusion summon obviously, fusion substitute, because you need to fusion summon, instant fusion, two of those just to bust out Ojama Knight right away. We have enchanting fitting room, pay 800 life points, pick up the top 4 cards of your deck, and any level 3 or lower normal monster that you find there bring it right out to your field. So, Galaxy Serpent, Beatron, the Ojamas, bring them right out. Bring them out, bring them out. And then the others uh, get shuffled back into your deck. So, if anything, you're at least getting a plus one, most likely. Or plus two. Then we have the Law of the Normal. Uh, activate only if you have five face-up level two or lower normal monsters on your side of the field. Both players discard their entire hand, and all cards on the field get destroyed, except for your level two and lower normal monsters. So, these guys are safe, destroy every card on the field, discard your hand, and on top of it, um, I mean, you're getting rid of your opponent's hand, That's they're down probably 5 cards, down 3, down 2, doesn't matter. We have MST to combo with Oja Magic, or just, you know, get rid of a nasty Speller Trap. Then we have Tri-Rite, 
So target three level two or lower normal monsters in your graveyard, bring them right out. Special summon them, revive them, we have two of those. So you can bring out Galaxy Serpent, Beatron, the Ojamas, summon them, go for Xyz, go for Link, go for Synchro. And then we have two Ojama Trio. This thing is semi limited, so we are, for heck, running two of it. Summon three Ojama tokens to your opponent's field, and they cannot use them for a tribute summon. They can't. And if they get destroyed, your opponent takes 300 damage for each, so you can deal 1800 damage just with these two cards. So, I mean, that is amazing right there. And then just to really annoy your opponent even more, we have Ojama Duo. Special summon two more Ojama tokens, and they cannot be tributed. Uh, each time, uh, they can't be used for a tribute summon. Let me uh, correct myself. And each time one is destroyed, take their under damage to your controller. During either player's turn, except the turn this card goes to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and special summon two Ojama monsters with different names from your deck. So I mean, good. It's got a field effect to annoy your opponent and take up their zone so they can't use them. And on top of it, you can special summon two Ojamas. That's perfect. And then we have Mirror Force because, yeah, you really want to protect them. You really want to. And then we have the League of Uniform Nomenclature. Really old card, just like Ojama Trio and all these Ojama cards. Select a face-up level 2 or lower normal monster you control. Special summon as many cards as possible from your deck with the same name as the selected monster. So I mean, if you're running 3 of all these Ojamas or 3 Beatron or 3 Galaxy Serpent, you instantly have 3 monsters on your field, but it's a good way to get a second monster on your field. And that's it for the deck, so now we're just going to go to the side deck before I get to the extra deck so you can figure out what else you'd want to do. So in the side deck we have Petite Dragon, just a kind of variety, I, love, I like Petite Dragon, one of the first dragons I ever used. So level 2 normal still works with the deck. Another Draco Net, so you can run 3 of it, it's a really good option. We have Debris Dragon, which is a level 4 tuner, and it's got 2000 defense, pretty good level 4 also, and when it normal summons itself, uh, you special summon a monster with 500 less attack in your graveyard in attack position with effects negated. Um, you can only use it for a dragon synchro, but you know, that kinda doesn't matter, you really just want it for defense. Um, and it revives a level, uh, it revives a monster with 500 less attack points, so that's literally a ton of cards in this deck. You can uh, get any normal monster, any Ojama, and it's just amazing. Uh, then we also have Key Mouse. So this is also a level 1 tuner, which is good. When this card gets destroyed by battle and sent to your graveyard, add a level 3 or lower beast type from your deck to your hand. So, again, instant access to all the Ojamas. Then we have another Oja Magic. Another, oh, we have Ayers Rock Sunrise. So target a beast type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. And if you do, all face up monsters you opponent currently controls loses attack of 200 for each beast, plant, and wing beast type monster currently in your graveyard. So you're going to have quite a few. So I mean, if you have a lot, you could easily strip them of 2,000 attack points. Easily strip them of 2,000 attack points with Ayers Rock Sunrise. And then we have the big cattle drive. If you have a beast, a beast warrior, or a winged beast type monster, draw a card for each of those monster types you control. So I mean, you're going to have a beast type on your field, obviously, so you're automatically going to draw a card. And then uh, you can't activate any other spell or trap card during the turn. So I mean, it is a plus one but at the cost of not being able to play any more spells, so that's the downside. Then we have another Oja Muscle for attack bonus, Scapegoat for defense because you're probably going to need it, Hippo Carnival for more defense of tokens, I love tokens, MST just because, Try right to bring out those normal monsters, Nomenclature again to bring out those normal monsters, we have Ojama Duo, gotta get those monster zones filled up on your opponent's field. I mean, summoning two tokens, I mean, can you imagine this is a mean combo, but play Ojama Trio, then play Ojama Duo. Your opponent has five useless tokens. Five. Five of them, and you can instantly deal 1500 damage. <clears throat> then we have Jin Buster. So this is two level two dark type monsters, which, you know, now that I'm looking at that, because I kind of forgot it needs two dark monsters, you're actually probably not going to use this card now, because I'm pretty sure there's not a single level two dark type in here. Yeah, there, there is not. There is not. So forget about, forget about this guy. I'm going to take him out right now. Yeah, forget about number 65, Jim Buster. Forget him. And in the extra deck, we have two Ojama King, which you're obviously going to have to use Polymerization and Fusion Substitute. Uh, but he is the boss monster, basically. And he can get 3,000 attack, even 4,000 attack when you do Oja Muscle with it. And on top of it, you get to select up to three of your opponent's monster zones, and the zones can't be used. 
So, I mean, not only annoying them with tokens, but taking away their zones, that's amazing. And I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this effect is permanent, even if it leaves the field, because it's, it doesn't say that this card has to be face up to use its effect. So, I mean, that's a really good effect, getting rid of the zones so they can't use them. And then, if you play Ojama Knight, it's like comboing trio with duo. Give them five tokens, they can't use their zones. If you bring out Ojama King and Ojama Knight in the same turn, select two monster zones, they can't use them. So essentially, your opponent won't be able to summon any monsters. And even if these cards leave the field, I think their, effect, their effects still activate. Uh, please comment down below if I'm wrong, because I'm not too sure, but I think their effects would still work even if they left the field, because it doesn't say they have to be face up. So those are our four fusions. Next up we have five synchro monsters. We have Christron Amatrix, so 2500 attack, 1500 defense, tuner and non-tuners. If it's synchro summoned, all face-up special summon monsters your opponent has go to defense mode. And if you have your pyrotech mech or your majestic mech, you can do some piercing battle damage because they have 2900 attack each. So Amatrix, yeah, it does that. Uh, you can't use its second effect because it targets a Christron in your graveyard to summon it. Uh, so you just want the first effect. And then we have Junk Warrior. Dude, Junk Warrior is amazing with this deck. You have Junk Synchron, instant access to level 2. You Synchro Summon Junk Warrior, and you're most likely, more than likely, gonna have level 2 monsters on the field. So you will get all of their attack points. You gain attack equal to the total attack of all level 2 Aloha monsters you have out. Now while the Ojamas do not have any attack points, if you have Galaxy Serpent out, and Beatron, you can instantly get, you know, maybe 2,000 if you have two of these, you can get 1,200, 400, you're getting an attack point bonus of some sort. And even if you have Key Mouse out, or Petite Dragon, you know, you get 700 more attack points, that's still good, you are almost a 3k beater. Then we have Scarred Warrior, so level 5, um, your opponent cannot target warrior type monsters except for this, and once per turn, not destroyed by battle. So if you have Scarred Warrior and Junk Warrior out, I mean, Scarred Warrior will protect, and it's got 2100 attack points, so that's awesome. We have Old Entity Hastor, which allows for you to negate your opponent's monster effect of one monster when it leaves the field and it's in the graveyard, and it cannot attack. So that's awesome. And if it leaves the field while equipped to that monster, take control of that monster. So I mean, now you have some power. Now you have some power if you are in a bad spot. And then we have Ally Justice Catastor. So at the start of the dem step, if it battles a monster that is not dark, destroy it right away. Destroy it. Not targeting at all, too. So that's amazing. And then we have some Xyz. We have two rank two, the Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin. Two level two monsters. And then you can detach an overlay unit. This is not once per this I think this is, I think this is once per turn. Maybe. Let's see. Detach an overlay unit, not an Xyz material. It is an overlay unit, alright? Watch Zexel, it's an overlay unit. Target a face-up monster your opponent has. Until the end of the turn, its attack is zero and has no effects. This effect can be activated during either player's turn. If this card has a Phantom Knight's card as Xyz material, you can only use this effect once per turn. So yeah, that's awesome. Just drop their attack, negate their effects, and bang! You're, that's awesome. You can deal 1600 damage right away. Or 3200. And then we have number 96, Darkness. You always need a number. Three level two monsters, which not easy, I mean, not hard. My bad, it's not hard to do. Uh, once per battle, during either player's turn, if it gets attacked, you can detach an overlay unit from this card, cut in half the attack of that monster, and if you do, this card gains that a same amount. So you're automatically, it's like Moon Mirror Shield, you're 100 attack points higher. So really good way to just deal with a tough monster, and you get to keep the attack points. And then we have Gachi Gachi Gantetsu, which is two level two monsters, and if this face-up card would be destroyed, detach an overlay unit instead. Face-up monsters you control gain 200 attack and defense for each overlay unit this card has. So, good way to get some attack and defense, you know. Simple. Not, not horrible, not great either, but it's good. And then we have Sky Cavalry Centauria. Two level two monsters. This card cannot be destroyed by battle while it has overlay units. At the end of the damage step, if this card battled, you can detach one overlay unit from this card, return that monster to the hand. So that's an easy way to just get rid of a problematic monster. It's not targeting, so that is perfect. And it's two level two monsters, and you have instant access to a 2k beater. So, this is the Ojama deck profile, and like always, I really hope you guys enjoyed. It was so much fun, so much fun. So much fun making this deck, just mixing all the archetypes, and we have 
Chaz Princeton cards, we have Yusaku's cards, we have a card from Link Strike, we have Yusaku's cards over here, we have Yusei's cards, we have a card from Yugi, we so many cards. We have, you know, cards from Yuto, cards from Dark Astral. It's just crazy. <clears throat> it's crazy. I love this deck. I'm so building this exactly the way I have it. And I'm going to see how well this deck does against my brother and my friends. So, um, I will let you guys know. I will post it on Instagram once that happens. And I will post it on Twitter as well. And I will let you guys know in a, a, another video. So, uh, comment down below how you would change this deck. Um, yeah, Junk Synchron, get them out. You know, Draconet, get them out. Cyrus Gadget, it's all centered around your level 2 monsters. Especially your Ojamas. So, that is the build. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright guys, so that is how you take the kind of pathetic and weak Ojama archetype and turn it into something that can be pretty darn competitive, honestly. Um, I do want to apologize. I was not able to get the Link Monsters in my version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Um, the last time I checked, the Link Monsters were not there, even though there are a lot of cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains in it already. All the Cybers are in there. Um, so you definitely want to put in this deck Honeybot, uh, Link Spider and Decode Talker. Definitely want to put those in there. Link Spider is so easy. You could run it at three. I mean, you just easily get a uh, you get a normal monster to the field, summon out Link Spider, and then on top of it, Link Spider summons normal monsters to your field to its arrow. So why not? Honeybot. You have Cybers monsters. I mean, no brainer. And then you have Decode Talker, which three effect monsters. You have plenty in the deck. So I mean, why not? Uh, this deck overall is just really. Which is really fun if you do pure Ojama, but even if you don't you do pure Ojama and you're doing this competitive build, I mean, there's so many endless possibilities that you can do with this deck. Just getting alone normal type support, and then getting beast type support, and just level 2 or lower support, I mean, there's so much to do. Jung Synchron, uh, Cyber's Gadget, Draco Net, I mean, it's, in it's incredible really. I, when I first started thinking about this, because I looked at Ojama Green just lying around my house, I looked at it and I was like, this would be nice for a deck profile, I wonder what I could do. So I just looked and I looked, and with all the new cards that have been coming out over the years, there's a lot you can do. Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin, number 96, Dark Mist, uh, Instant Fusion with Ojama Knight, uh, just anything. I mean, it's crazy, especially with the Link support. This deck is Link ready. And it can do Fusion XZ Synchro and Link. I mean, that's mind blown. I got so excited when I did this. Every time I look at it, I just get so excited. Like, I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this. Um, there is an opening uh, that will be up pretty soon in the coming week where I get some cards for the deck. And I'm so excited to build this. I am going to duel my brother and duel a few of my friends and just see how good this deck will actually do. If I last even just a few turns with it, that's awesome right there. That's all I'm hoping for. I don't expect to win with it, but that'd be so, so dope if I do. Uh, so, today's Dual Talk segment is, do you guys know of any archetypes like Ojamas that are pretty weak on their own and kind of need some help? You know, can they be made, can they be upgraded to a high tier deck using the cards that are coming out over the past few years? Is there something that, you know, isn't too good, but can be honestly better. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I just love Ojamas. I mean, they're pretty funny. They're hysterical in the anime. And I'm glad that I was able to make this profile. This is probably my favorite profile right now so far. But yeah, so like always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and comment down below how you would change this Ojama build. You know, are there cards in there that, you know, shouldn't be in there? I mean, there's 52 cards in the build I made, but, I mean, you can easily search everything out. So, there is a side deck. So, um, Jay, yeah, just let me know down in the comments below how you would change it. Would you do this exact build? And would you do a match with your friend? And if you do, please tweet at me if you win, or post it on Instagram, or share it on Yu-Gi-Oh! Amino. I am Darkblaze on Yu-Gi-Oh! Amino, and the link, uh, the name is down in the description. So, without further ado, that is the end of the video. Like always, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy this video, you should totally smash on that like button. And if you're new to my channel, you should totally click subscribe, because Bonanza Week is going on until the 15th of this month. So 
long time, ton of videos, at least one a day, probably two or three per day. So you won't want to miss a thing. I do great Pokemon content like top tens, uh, a new one coming up where I will discuss what if I was a gym leader. So you'll be looking forward to that. Uh, that's going to be coming up soon. I do tons of deck profiles and yeah, so you should definitely stay tuned. So. I will see you guys later during Bonanza Week. Until next time, duelists, I hope you pick up a deck and start dueling. I'll catch you guys later.